and another video from Dave. What's up, YouTube? This is Dave's Head Up Point Seven. This is another video to do with recent gaming pickups. Well, technically pickup because I only got one game. But if you want to count pre-orders, I guess it'd be pickups. But it's just pickups. I just got one game. Don't want to be misinformed here in this video. <laughs> just, just calm down, calm down. Just, just a joke. <laughs> Don't want to get noosed. Um. Uh. But yeah. Uh. Let's say. Frozen Magma Edition. <laughs> um, another video from Dave. And yeah, I'm um, pretty much, guys. I picked up something when I went to Best Buy to trade in Quantum Break. I beat Quantum Break last night. I told you guys I wasn't keeping it because I don't really see a point other than if they made DLC. But I got enough out of the game. I really enjoyed it. I think that game gets a lot of hate, and it should really be honest with you. And I don't even—I didn't even find it that short as everybody is. I mean. Okay, so now from what I understand, we got to take out cutscenes and, you know, all kinds of other shit with the game that we've never done before, and we're counting the time by that, you know. <laughs> this fucking YouTube gaming community really cracks me up at times, you know, the shit that you hear. I mean, I mean, I wasn't a part of the YouTube gaming community when a game like Kane and Lynch came out, but I can imagine what you guys have been saying about a game like that, the second one, that is. But, yeah, game was great. Awesome ending. Uh, they kind of left it open, at, you know, to me for, uh, you know, from what I saw for a second one. I hope they really do it. Um, I love the game. You know, that end fucking boss fight was a bitch. I was playing on hard. Um, now, if you played on normal, like, you know, I was talking to RXL last night. I know RXL is going to sit here in the comment section and go on and on and on. We, we were going back and forth last night. Just joking, you know. Like I said, with the, when when you get in the little comment wars, you know, back in the day with me, I'd sit in there all day long. Somebody like RXL is a different story. You know, I, I look at him as like a good friend, so I don't care to do it with him. But, uh, you know, we, he was going on, you know, taking shots about Quantum Break, blah, 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 because I was saying it was good. You know, like I told RXL last night, if somebody was like, like somebody said too on my on my uh, live stream, if somebody was to like, like Brownie said, I think it was Brownie that said that, or maybe Ryu, I don't know, I think it was Brownie, uh, Brownie77, uh, if somebody was to know where everything was, like, meaning know to basically where to do the uh, rewinds and everything like that, you know, exactly how to do everything, uh, no cutscenes, basically speed run it, and play it on normal, you know, and not playing it on hard, yeah, maybe it would be like six hours, five hours. But if you're playing the game for the first time, no. It's probably going to be like eight, eight and a half hours, you know. Uh, so, to me, it was a long enough game. Could it have been longer? Yes. But I think it's fine. Like, I was one that had no problem with the order. I like the order. You know, now I will say this. I didn't pay $60 for the game. And with all the deals out there like Gamers Club Unlocked and Amazon, I hope you didn't pay $60 for that game too if you did pick it up. So I felt like I got my money out of it, you know. And then I traded it and today I actually made money on it. <laughs> you know, I, I got the game for $13.60, traded it for $35, and they give you Alan Wake with it. So I got like a free game, you know, and made money on it. So using that money towards, uh, you know, uh, 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 Uncharted 4, that'll be one of my next games, and, uh, next one after that will be Doom, uh, I'm gonna get Shadow of the Beast, one game that David, uh, oops, Silver Sky 545, I know you don't wanna be called that, uh, by his name no more, uh, he showed me that game looks fucking sick, that looks badass, now I'm not a big indie guy, I call indie games cell phone games, but that shit looks awesome, you know, I, I think, I could be wrong, don't, I mean, don't noose me for this, but I think David said that game was from, uh, it's, it's basically like, well, I don't even want to say this if it's going to be misinformed, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't want to catch hell for this, uh, but 
this game could be basically, I don't know if it's like a sequel or something to do with Alter Beast from uh, Sega Genesis. I didn't look it up. I didn't do anything. So I don't want you guys to like flip out because I didn't, I'm not saying the correct information. So I could be wrong on that. Let's say that just to be safe. But um, I think I, I think has something to do with Alter Beast. If you guys ever played that on the Sega Genesis, that was one of the first games I ever played on Sega Genesis. It was fucking awesome. I love that game. Uh, but Shadow of the Beast looks awesome. I'll be getting that, but me and indie games, I just look at them like cell phone games. I like certain ones like that and like uh, Hardware Rivals, uh, you know, games like I would like Outlast. Even I didn't play a Hell Divers yet, but even something like that. When you're getting like Oddball, Oddball and Sparkle and Octodad, get the fuck out of here. I didn't buy a you know a four hundred dollar console, three ninety nine technically. <laughs> uh, you know, I only get that wrong. Just kidding, just kidding. I just like I just like to play. I like to joke around. It's fun. That's just how I am. Um, I thought you guys watch my channel would gather that, you know. But I, you know, I will say this. I didn't know my joking around was hurting other people's channels. So I don't want to do that no more. If that's what that's gonna do, so I'm not trying to do that here on this channel. Um, but uh, yeah. Basically, that's my feeling about feelings about indie games, but. Like, the next games that I want to get, you know, are Uncharted 4, Doom, and Shadow of the Beast, okay? And that's it. That's my goal, just to stop right there, because I picked up a game today that I didn't want to pick up. I was in Best Buy, trading in Quantum Break, and, you know, I got my money for Uncharted, did the pre-order for Uncharted, Uncharted 4, and I did a pre-order for Doom, uh, which if you are a Gamers Club Unlocked member, you'll get $10 back on Doom, so that's cool. And I believe Uncharted, you'll probably get like five bucks. Usually it works like this. If a game, if they don't have a game, uh, like a deal where it gives you 10 back, you usually get five for pre-orders. Um, that's how it's always worked for me. I, you get, once you start buying games of Best Buy, like RXL said, you'll be getting money back. You don't even know why it's coming. It's basically probably because of the points thing too. Gamers Club Unlocked is the way to go. Hands down. Best deal on the market for physical games. I don't think you'll get games any cheaper than that. Day one, brand new. Uh, but today I was sitting there, you know, I, you know, last week you had Ratchet and Clank come out, which looks great. Uh, you had Dark Souls 3 that, that comes out. It looks great. You guys know um, I just got into Bloodborne, you know, like that. I got Bloodborne day one. Didn't play it till later on, but when I, once I started playing, I really got into it. I'm on the, the, the fifth boss or something right now, but with everything else I got playing, I'm kind of playing dark, uh, uh, Bloodborne slow, but, you know, Bear Hugger and a lot of other people were helping me figure out things on uh, a Bloodborne. I'm new to those type of games. Same things with a lot of RPGs. I'm like a Splinter Cell, Siphon Filter, you know, Nintendo guy, you know, like that's what I grew up on, like games like that, Tomb Raider, shit like that, the old Tomb Raiders and stuff, Zelda, Link to the Past. I never really played these, like, RPGs where you have to, like, like the Witcher and shit, like where you have to like do all this, uh, you know, different things like with your, uh, you know, your levels and get up in levels and how to do certain with crafting and all that shit, like, you know, and games like Fallout. I never really got into those games and I'm getting into them, you know, living up here in Tennessee and Florida. I just strictly played online games and those type of story games like Splinter Cell. The Suffering, PsyOp, shit like that. You know, I guess you'd say dude bro games. But I'm open to anything as long as I can, you know, like, like I would say YouTube has got me into other games. So it was really hard for me to resist because I want to, I'm challenging myself with this. Like, just like I am with Bloodborne. Eventually, my goal with Bloodborne, I'm going to try. You know, don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try. That's my goal, to get the Platinum. And I want to, and one of my, uh, one of my subscribers, and I consider him a friend, great dude, talked to him all Saturday. He kind of talked me into getting this. Um, I went and picked up Dark Souls 3. Um, I got the Day 1 Edition. Uh, I guess it comes with the Starter Guide, Official Game Soundtrack, Day 1 Edition. You know, O Sleeve, I guess they're, they're counting, giving you that. It's written on the back, giving you this thing, the sleeve. Uh, but, you know, it looks cool. I think it's going to be a badass game. Even the clerk at the, you know, at the desk, I usually bullshit with everybody at Best Buy. It's actually the one chick that works there. She loves the Dark Souls series. I was sitting there talking to her about this, and she said she's played all of them, but this, she says she's checked out gameplay on it. She says it looks great, you know, from what she's seen. 
So I figured, you know, from Frozen Magma, uh, I was like, give it. I'm gonna give it a shot. Frozen Magma said, it, you know, he watches a lot of my streams. He says, Dave, uh, you know, I'll help you through it. Like if you can't figure out, you know, if you have trouble figuring out something. And I'm sure I'll bear hug her there, you know, but I want to try to, you know, if I can, I probably won't be able to, you know, because I'm not the greatest at these games, but I'm getting better at them. I want to eventually try to platinum this and Bloodborne. That's my goals, and that's one reason why I bought it, so I definitely have a lot of replay value out of this. But let's do this unboxing. I want to watch Bates Motel. And, you know, I was just joking in this video. I hope no, this video, I don't get nobody mad. I'm just kidding around. I had a, oh, there it is. I had something to open the unboxing. So, but yeah, um, pick this up today. Like I said, the next games I get will be Uncharted 4, uh, uh, Doom, and uh, Shadow of the Beast. And I'll pick up most likely the next episode of Hitman, which Hitman's awesome. And I'm going to get probably, probably, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get the uh, next Call of Duty uh, DLC because that new Zombies uh, map that's coming looks fucking awesome. But I just haven't played Call of Duty in a while. I got too many games, I shouldn't even be buying this, but video game addiction, it's its hard to kick. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, oh cool, this is awesome. So it comes with a soundtrack, so I can be jamming out in my car to fucking Dark Souls music, like I really will. <laughs> comes with that, at least I'd say they give you, so give you something this time. Uh, they give me, arm yourself with the knowledge, I guess the, they want you to buy the book, which I'm not buying. Uh, we got Bear Hugger for that, and Frozen Magma. <laughs> You know, they're fucking, stra uh, you know, live strategy guides. That's one thing I love about streaming. You guys are the best. You know, if I'm ever, you know, if I'm ever at an issue, like, where I can't figure out something, you guys are there. I, you know, I, I really do appreciate all your guys' support. Everybody that watches my streams. I mean, everybody. Ryu, Brownie, uh, uh, Video Game Lover, uh, uh. Baba Duke, or uh, you know everybody, Bear Hugger, all you guys. Oh, Fatal, Fatal Mephisto, my bad. You guys know who you are, BGL, all you guys. I, I you know, I don't want to say everybody's names. That I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna leave somebody out, but you guys know who you are. Thank you for watching my streams. Um, my streams are getting, you know, more and more better as time goes on. Got, you know, my UFC streams do fantastic. You know, Danielle, Procrastination. Uh, they're always a part of my streams at times, you know, really do appreciate all the support. They actually give you a fucking guide. <laughs> Can you believe that? It, this is like fucking, you know, unreal right now, what I'm looking at. I think I'm dreaming. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like, you actually get a fucking instruction booklet. Can you believe that? Now, that's cool. That's that's what I miss with gaming. That's, you know, these you buy these physical discs and you just usually get, this is all you usually get. This will be, this will usually be it. Just the fucking case and the disc and the uh, the box art. That's it. But you get all this other shit, you know. And they even give you a fucking sleeve. That's awesome. But yeah, here's the disc, guys. This unboxing is probably the longest unboxing or pickups, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever done. <laughs> uh, there it is, Dark Souls 3. Brand new. I won't be streaming this tonight, guys, because I... I don't know when I'm going to stream this. It might probably be this weekend. Or maybe I might start it tomorrow. But I definitely don't have enough time to stream it tonight. If I do play anything tonight, it's going to be UFC. Um, but yeah, that's my unboxing. Uh, like I said, Frozen Magma Edition. And two, uh, I know uh, Afterlife Battlefront uh, did a video. Since this video has gone so long, I might as well just talk about this. Uh, Afterlife Battlefront did a response video to Joey Luciano. Um, I'm going to respond to Afterlife's Battlefront's video because it's to do with me too. I don't know what's going on with this whole situation. I heard more news last night with it that I'm just going to go straight up and ask, you know, people what's going on. You know, because I think this is getting really carried away, this whole thing. It all started with just, you know, okay, we're misinformed, you know, which to be fair... The past couple podcasts, when I really thought about the situation, we talked about the 4.5 VR. Why weren't we misinformed then? You know, I'm saying, why was this one an issue? And I have a feeling I know why. But, I mean, why did, I mean, and it's partly my fault, too. But I just don't see how this became such a big deal. Now we got response videos. And I, and I, and I know there's more stuff going to go on, you know. And I really... You know, I'm in no control of it when it does. You know, it's nothing to do with me. I hope you guys don't think it's going to be me because I already see what's going on already. 
Uh, this is going to be basically something that started a, a, on a podcast that was basically should have shouldn't even basically started. I don't really hold anyone at fault. You know, I, I, I was blamed, you know, for basically not checking people. But I've seen many a podcast here on YouTube where nobody like checked people. Just saying, like, I'm just putting that out there. That's very hard to do, you know, especially how I do my podcast where I just get people at spur of the moment. We don't get to go over podcasts. Uh, topics, you know, when you have a group of guys every week, you can do that shit. But when you don't know who's going to be on the podcast, and you know, say, say, your, say a topic comes up. I've done so many podcasts where this happens. It usually happens all the time. You'll be talking about, let's say, Nintendo NX, for example, and that will carry over to do some, something to do with Sony for some reason. A whole other topic that that panel member started talking about. And he brought the conversation there. You know, do I check him and say, oh, stay here? You know, I mean, I, maybe I should. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying that shit goes on where I don't feel like I'm, I, I am the host. But at the same time, you know, how these podcasts go on YouTube, by any means, we're not professionals. You know, I know it's, I do think it's cool if you're, if somebody is trying to be a professional, but in this community, I mean, I'm just keeping it real, and it's very sad I gotta say this, but it's just how it is. Good luck. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, you know, but that's, I just really see stuff that's gonna go on with this that I really hope don't go on, but I already see it happening, and, you know, hopefully I can clear stuff stuff up on my end where I can prevent stuff from happening but I don't think that's going to happen because the people are already set in motion and they want to do what they want to do and some people pissed other people off already and that I'm in no control of that's not me you know I'm just trying to keep the peace that's why I did the video I did you know one thing you guys gotta understand I look at friendship more than anything you know uh, the reason how things went with my video is because I look at you know let's just say here I look at David as a friend uh, you know I've known him for a good little while now and we've talked about personal things we've got each other's numbers you know we don't just talk about video games we talk about movies we talk about real life shit you know so I don't know you know, like, that's what I would, I don't want to ruin a friendship over something stupid, if that makes sense, and I think there, you know, a lot of other members of Glitch are pretty cool, I didn't know some people were mad at me in there like that, you know, and now everything's supposedly resolved, I hope, you know, but I heard other things that, you know, what's going on, which I'm going to ask some people if that's going on, you know, which, you know, some people are saying different, you know, I don't know, I don't get it, like I said, I don't see how one thing can happen, uh, you know, out of nothing. You know, something out of nothing like that. But that's how YouTube works. Something little comes out of nothing, you know. It's just how it is. But this is the longest uh, fucking recent gaming pickups I've ever done. Sorry for the long video, guys. Uh, like I said, um, that's my video. Uh, if you have any thoughts, leave them in the comment section. But it is an unboxing. Did you pick it up? Uh, did you play Dark Souls? Uh, three, what do you think? Uh, look forward to my live streams and later, YouTube.